Good morning and welcome to the Stalls TV Morning Show. I'm Courtney and I'll be your host for today. With us coming right off of Daylight Savings Time, we thought this would be a perfect time since boom and summer is finally just in the corner. We're just outside of um, fall and winter to share a lot of the spring trends that we're seeing on the market today. So we're going to share in today's morning show some blank trends that we're seeing in the actual apparel. So that's why I've got a, a nice uh, assortment of colors here and bright shades on the table. We're going to walk through a lot of different styles and talk about some different trends we're seeing in the blank apparel side. And then we're also going to talk about some trends we're seeing in garment decoration and a new industry trend that we're seeing, some new print technology. So it should be a pretty exciting morning show and I'm excited to share it with you guys some of this content. And so we are gearing up for the Atlantic City show um, this week in the ISS show, I guess, in Atlantic City. Um, and so we're excited to see a lot of you guys that are on the East Coast that will be attending that show. Of course, you'll be able to see all of these blanks that I'm going to show you here and more live in person if you're attending the show. And we have a ton of education there as well. So we're going to be actually teaching classes, showing you guys how to print all the looks we're showing you today, all of the different garments that you're going to see. And so a lot of really new, fun, and exciting stuff. So if you're anywhere up and down the East Coast and you're free this week and this weekend, I encourage you to attend the ISS show. Take a look at our booth. We're launching a bunch of new products. And so we have some really exciting to stuff, stuff to share um, coming up. But let's go ahead and dive into spring blank apparel trends. I'm going to start with something fun and colorful because with spring finally are coming around, we're starting to see some fun, bright, mint, and light pink colors coming into um, blank apparel. And this one specifically is a hooded sweatshirt that's from Boxercraft. And I really like this sweatshirt, not only because it's soft and lightweight and real sporty, um, but it also has a mesh hood into it. So it really plays on a really light athleisure look. And so if you're decorating for any schools this spring, um, any fitness groups, any yoga, and we all know athleisure is such a big trend, this is a really great piece to start adding. And the colors are really fun um, as well. And so keeping with that sporty theme, Boxercraft also came out with their new um, crossline tank top. And this one has, again, those same mesh panel seams that we're seeing through the back. It's got the, um, the vent, vented areas for a sporty look. And I really like this tank top as well as some of the other tank tops I'm going to show you in the new blank arrivals for layering. And so with spring around the corner, of course, this is that perfect time of year if you're selling to groups to be able to package together a tank top or a t-shirt with a lightweight jacket and be able to sell a little bit more because we know that these make perfect options for layering. And with the temperatures changing, it's cold in the morning for a lot of places, hot in the afternoon, or just the temperatures changing in general for a lot of the, the area you get the option of being able to layer garments and print more items um, and sell more items with tank tops and mixing them with jackets and things like that. So of course you've got a couple of trends so far from Boxercraft in the top area, but uh, we're going to feature a capri or a lightweight pant as well that we're seeing in the new arrivals. I love this because it looks like jeans. This is another play on athleisure. Um, it's got that soft vintage look. So if you're selling to schools and groups, this is a perfect way for you to add some personalization. And I know this looks like a denim jean on camera, but this is actually a garment. So you can easily heat apply it. You can screen print it. You can decorate it in a variety of ways. Really fun, very casual. And then keeping with that vintage look, I'm going to show one more option that I'm super excited to share with you guys from Boxercraft. And that is the beloved short sleeve pom-pom jersey. And so the pom-pom jersey, the oversized shirts are, you guys know, the biggest trend. We absolutely love sharing it here at Stalls TV. And even at StallsTV.com, we find a lot of you guys talk a lot about and look a lot at the uh, oversized shirts. And so this style is a short sleeve version that allows you to print that same oversized 25 inch print um, from Boxercraft, very lightweight, very soft, and offers a, a lot of options for decorating, a lot of colors available. But if you're selling to um, pretty much any market that you're selling the oversized shirts to, you should go back to them and show them the short sleeve look for spring because now you have another sales opportunity for all of those people that bought the, um, the ones for the fall or for the winter that were long sleeve and that were a little bit heavier weight. This is more of a spring, summer look new sales opportunity, really exciting. So moving on and keeping with the same oversized trend, Pennant Sportswear, which is another supplier of the oversized shirts that we feature a lot here on the morning show and at Stalls TV, they actually came out with a sideline tee, which has a really tailored um, cut to it. It's got, you'll see the 
themes down the side. This is the black and white version, but of course it comes in some colorful shades like you'll see um, throughout a lot of the garments with that mint and light pastels. But this one, again, it's got that same large print area on the back, and this one allows you to print up to 25 inches as well, so we can see that large oversized print area in a new, really flattering, no seams type of way. And so it's just another way that if you sold to any of those markets, those oversized shirts, go back, show them a short sleeve version and get a couple extra sales out of those groups this spring and this summer as you're looking for some new markets. Of course, a fan favorite for the Stalls TV morning show is Sanmar. And Sanmar actually um, has done a lot of videos for Stalls TV and being able to showcase some of their new arrivals. But I want to pick out a couple of my favorites that we feature in a lot of our videos and that we're featuring at the ISS show and a lot of our education there. One for that is this fan jersey. If you're decorating for spring sports, and we showed that a lot on the morning show last week, um, if you didn't get to catch that episode, we talked about decoration trends for sports. This is perfect for fan wear, and so it's got that same sporty mesh sleeve look, a nice v-neck line, um, really flattering for a tailored ladies fit, and so I absolutely love this style just for that mesh, really sporty look to fan wear, adding in the athleisure look. And if you want to go with something a little bit more simple, more baseball, You've got the um, fan shirt here kind of as a complimentary option. So you have the mesh sleeves, and then you also have this option here for another new fan jersey. And so fan jerseys became popular probably four or five years ago um, as people started to look for more tailored ladies and comfortable garments for spring and fall spirit wear. And this has kind of evolved into a really nice way to take a masculine-looking jersey, either with the mesh sleeves or with the striped um, raglan sleeves and be able to make it more fashionable and more um, trendy for a ladies garment. Lastly, we've seen a lot of heathered garments and Sanmar does this really well both in their Sport Tech line and their OGO line. So I wanted to share a new jacket that they recently just launched through their OGO line, um, which has a lot of really high-end performance wear. And so if you're selling to a corporate market um, or any client that wants a high-end look, um, even if it's just a, a coach for a school or a different market like that. I love this heathered zip-up jacket from OGO, and so it's incredibly soft. This is that trend we saw a lot, and we reported on it um, earlier in January this year that we said we'd start to see it a lot in apparel, and it kind of has that textured look to it, um, and so it really adds that fun, textured look. And so it comes in a men's and a women's apparel, but it's really great for when you want to add that premium look to your customers. And so those are some options that we have available from Sanmar. So, so far we've showed a couple of new styles from Boxercraft, a few from uh, Pennant Sportswear, and just a couple of the ones that we've seen from Sanmar. And so I mentioned there's some videos from Sanmar that are up on StallsTV.com. And those videos are actually showcasing all of their new arrivals. There's a two-part series, so it allows you to go at your leisure and look um, at some of the styles that they've created, that they've put together for 2016, learn a little bit about them, how you can leverage them for different markets, different groups. And then in addition to that, so if you go to StallsTV.com, under the videos and training videos tab, you'll notice 2016 new arrival series. That's where this video is. And we've also just done a video for Cavio that showcases a lot of the blanks that we featured here on the morning show a few weeks ago. And so I want to take a moment to show you guys that video, give you a small taste of what you're going to get and that new arrival section when you head over to StallsTV.com. So let's show that video now. I'm Courtney Kibitza with Stalls TV, and welcome to this Blank Apparel new arrival showcase featuring Cavio. At Stalls TV, our goal is to help decorators grow their business by staying up to date on new trends. And part of that is with blank apparel trends. So we're excited to have Cavio share some of their new arrival blanks with us so we can report them back to you. These styles all feature a fun yet casual look to them and are perfect for any ladies or children apparel. So let's take a look at what we have. First, we're going to start with a muscle tank with a scoop neck. And I love the light, airy finish of this specific garment. It comes in 10 different colors and is made of a cotton poly blend. So it's super soft, super comfortable. And I can see this being paired a lot with a bathing suit or a bandeau top with those deep armholes. So it really speaks to the lightweight and trendy nature of tank tops. Next, we're going to look at a striped flowy tank. 
And this tank top, again, is light, it's airy, and it really moves with the wearer. So it's perfect for any summer or spring design that you have for a tank top. It comes in seven different colors and really has a fun striped nature. And stripes and textures are things that we're really seeing a lot in the apparel marketplace in the spring specifically and in 2016. So we're already seeing that in this blank and we'll see it here shortly in a few others. Another style I really love is the fringe tank. So it's got a macrame fringe at the bottom and an asymmetrical finish. So it's really fun, really edgy, and just really unique. So if you're looking for a way to take a tank top and really make it unique to your customer and sell a ton of them, I see this being perfect for dance schools, cheer squads, um, any summer design. If you're selling designs in apparel at the beach, this is a perfect look for that with that asymmetrical finish. Next, we're going to look at two pieces that are part of their contrasting striping shirts. Um, I love this because I kind of see it as a, a business in the front, party in the back type look where it's really um, simple and casual in the front, but then you add the striping on the sleeves or striping in the back and it makes it a really fun, unique piece. So it takes a basic tank top and really elevates it. Um, and this specific garment comes in 12 different colors. Again, we're seeing a really soft, lightweight fill in this cotton poly blend, so it's really comfortable for the wearer. And that same look is available in a tank top for summer with a nice knot back, again with that same striping, so we're seeing a lot of the different colorways. This one's available in eight colors, but again, we're going to see a lot of this specific garment for dance schools, cheerleading, anything like that you're decorating for in the summer, or just summer apparel in general. I can see a ton of these at the beach. The next set of garments I'm going to look at from Cavio are ones that we're particularly excited to start decorating and adding into our arsenal here at Stalls TV because they're specifically textured and just speaking to everything we're seeing in the retail market today. They call them the static print line. So all of the garments have this bold, static-like print in the garment. And they come in four different styles, seven different colors. They're super soft, super lightweight, and just really fun, really bold, and they really pop off from the basic, everyday, solid-colored garments. And so this one is a, is a basic, crew neck t-shirt, so that's the first style. The second style we're going to look at is going to be a v-neck, so it gets a little bit more flattering, a little bit more um, ladylike, I guess, for some more wearers. It's got a v-neck top and also a high-low hem with a contrasting seam, so it really helps to make it just add a little bit more edge to the garment. Now as we start to look at more comfort, more ease with these specific static print garments, They've added a one that's a tank top and a hood. So if you're selling to any beach market, um, this is specifically a really great look for summer. It's got a high-low seam, slits up the side, so it's super comfortable to wear, kind of moves with the wear. Again, lightweight, soft, um, just really casual and fun for the customer. And the last piece, I always say the last for the best, the best for last, I should say, um, and that piece specifically is a fringe tank. Um, made in the same static print. So again, we're getting that really fun, edgy, almost bohemian look with that bold print. And so this one's really popular in the green shade. We love it. We're going to show you more ways to decorate it. And so all of these pieces you've seen here from Cavio, stay tuned to more videos and check them out on stallstv.com as we show you how to print them with your heat press and heat transfers. So that gives you guys a quick snapshot on what we're showing at the new arrival showcase over at stallstv.com. And so if you guys haven't signed up, Head over to stallstv.com and check out the new arrivals. Of course, Cavio is already on there. Samar is on there as well. And new blank arrivals are going to be showing up um, as we receive them and as we can report them on to you guys. Because you know as well as I do that blank apparel trends are a big part of what you can offer to your customers aside from decoration. And so I had a couple of questions on the blank garments I think that came in earlier. So I wanted to address them before I move on to some industry trends and some trends in print that we're seeing with apparel. And so one was where were these uh, fleece capri fr capris from? They were also from Boxer Craft. They have a variety of colors, but of course the jean was my favorite. And then the other one that I had a question on was the sideline garment. And so that was that black garment with a large oversized print. Um, and that one's available from um, Pennant Sportswear. So both of those are available if you go to those websites. If you guys have more questions throughout the morning show, feel free to chat them in and we'll answer them as they come in. Now, of course, it wouldn't be a trends episode if I didn't talk a little bit about what we're seeing in the industry from a technology standpoint and um, just talk a little bit about some things about printing and different styles. And so we're getting ready to gear up for the Atlantic City show. And one trend that I've got, um, or a technology trend that I've got a little bit of wind on that's going to be shown there is a, a new sublimation paper that allows you to print on cotton. And so you know sublimation is still a huge trend this spring. And so we're seeing it a ton in sportswear. 
Um, and compression wear, we're seeing it a lot in different garments, but of course we've seen it traditionally just on polyesters. One of the largest challenges when it comes to printing polyesters, is, or printing with sublimation, is that it's a polyester only fabric. And so, technology wise, there's actually a new transfer paper that's coming onto the market um, that's going to allow you to print using a sublimation printer onto light or pastel colors um, of cotton fabrics. And so, there's a new process to it. It requires a, a powder coating to go onto the transfer that then allows it to apply to cotton and maintain that vibrancy. And so what it's going to give those with sublimation printers is an option to print full color images onto cotton that still have that soft, lightweight, screen printed feel. Um, and while it's not something that's available from stalls, I think it's something that really can help to grow your business. And so I've got a quick, I think it's about a three minute video I wanted to share with you guys on how the process works. Because if you have sublimation printer or you're looking to get into that technology, this is really a huge benefit for you. So I'm going to go ahead and share that now. Technology that I think a lot of decorators can start to use in their business with their sublimation printer. Um, the subly cotton paper is something that you'll likely be seeing a lot about um, in upcoming impressions or printware magazines, and so we wanted to report it to you as well at Stalls TV because we think it can help to grow your business with your heat press and your technology. And so, looking for other ways to use this heat press to 
print more items and to print some of the trends we're seeing, I wanted to report um, on four different style trends that we're seeing. And the first two really report back to the glaze craze or the gloss craze. And so this garment here was actually featured in a, a live Stalls TV class um, a few weeks back, but it was by far one of the most popular. And so it's really a trendy, unique way to use what's called a gloss material. So this is Super Tech Clear Gloss. And it was a clear material placed on a dark garment. And so it actually darkened up the areas where the material were and created a really unique gloss effect. Um, and so I'll put this down so you guys can see kind of a close-up look of it. But it really starts to add a unique finish to garments. And of course, the color changes depending on the color of the fabric. So I find dark shades like this charcoal or a black shade seem to work the best. But all you need to do is cut this on your vinyl cutter, heat apply it, and you've got this really cool glossy finish. And so keeping with that gloss trend, um, this one actually has a little bit of an iridescence to it. So as I start to shine, uh, shake it and shine it, you guys will notice it's got a little bit of a shine. This is a product we're launching um, this week at Atlantic City. And so it's coming soon. And so we wanted to show you guys it first. Just a small sneak peek. Um, there's a lot of things you can do with this. So check out Stalls TV for more videos coming soon in the next week. But this is actually a blue iridescent material and so it's translucent and it changes colors depending on what it's applied to. So I put it on this blue shirt to get a really cool tonal effect, which is another thing we're seeing trending in apparel. So tone on tone through a gloss material, tone on tone through a, um, a tonal iridescent glaze material. And so you can kind of see close up how it's really neat and iridescent. And so this is just one of the colors that are coming. So you'll get to see it kind of coming out in the marketplace. Again, it changes and shifts colors depending on um, what it applies to, and even the colors around it can help change that a little bit. And so those are kind of the first two trends. We're seeing a lot of that tonal effect mixed with metallics and then a gloss craze and kind of a just a, a real craze on um, looks that are really iridescent and shiny and glossy, which is funny because it's kind of transcending what we've seen for years in the apparel market where matte and screen printed finishes were what people were looking for. And now they want glossy and shiny and really cool finishes. But it's exciting because we have products um, with the heat press that allow you to do that. And both of those can be cut on a vinyl cutter. And so another trend we've been reporting for a while that's grown in blank apparel is color blocking. Um, and so color blocking has really gotten popular in a lot of blank apparel. So this is an oversized shirt from Boxercraft. Again, it's got that color blocking technology. We're seeing it in sportswear from a variety of suppliers. We're seeing it now in team uniforms. And what color blocking does is it takes blocks of colors and mixes them together in one item. And so we've actually seen that starting to change um, in decoration as well, where we're getting a color blocking effect by mixing different colors of material. And so we mixed Cat Cut Glitter Flake into a two color logo and really played on the colors of this garment. So that helps to create a really unique trend. Of course, we personalized the back with a complementing color with the oversized shirts, which are still trendy. So think about the uh, short sleeve shirt we showed in the beginning of the morning show this morning and how you can really use this two tone effect with that. And then this one, we really took it to the next level and we did a two-tone pattern effect. So this is actually a sublimated glitter flake. And I'm going to place it down here so you guys can get a close-up look of the print. Um, it's a floral print. It actually matches my shirt pretty good here on the morning show. Um, but it's, uh, it's got that sublimated glitter effect. And so you're able to get that full color print with a product like this. Again, playing on that same tonal effect. So we're getting a color blocking look mixed with patterns, which are of course trending and, and never going to change Just the patterns change a little bit, which we're seeing with that floral print there. And the last trend we're going to look at at the morning show is just mixed media. And so mixed media is growing in popularity. We've shared it a few times, but here on a slub tee from Boxercraft is mixing a full color print with cat cut glitter flakes. So make sure to keep that in your arsenal as you're printing this spring. And lastly, um, we took a Cavio piece that was featured in the piece we showed you earlier and printed glitter flake and rhinestones together. And so this um, can also be seen on StallsTV.com and how to create this exact look. We just put the video up last week. But you'll get to see how mixing and matching um, rhinestones with glitter is starting to become more popular as people are looking for m more ways to add bling. Um, it's funny, I actually did a class a while back and somebody had asked me if rhinestones were dead. And I don't think rhinestones are dead. You know, they're never going anywhere. But what we're starting to see is people want to mix them with glitter and metallics and different effects. And so this is a way to do that. Um, this is actually our most uh, liked photo on our new Instagram account at Stalls TV. So if you're on Instagram, you can follow us there, see images like this and things that we share throughout the morning show. I think I have a couple of questions coming in. So we'll go ahead and take those now as we wrap up. Joe, any questions? Yes, I'd like to know on the uh, glaze, can it go over another 
uh, heat transfer vinyl, and even can it go over uh, the glitter flake? Um, with a glazed material, we definitely don't recommend it over glitter flake just because um, the textured finish of glitter flake. And as for other materials, I'd stay tuned to stalls.com. They're going to launch that product soon, and they're going to give you recommendations on those as well. And then also on the uh, the glaze, the how do, how is it for weeding, and how does it handle the fine text? Well, it is a stretchy material since it goes on performance wear. So when weeding, um, you want to try to keep fine detail to a little bit of a minimum. It's not ha doesn't have a super sticky backing. It's easy to weed larger images, and I definitely recommend having a sharp blade. That'll help to ensure weeding comes a lot easier as well, just like you would with any stretch material like Premium Plus. All right, looks like we're wrapping up the questions here. Like I said, head over to stallstv.com. Um, check out some of the new videos we've just put up that we've given you guys a snapshot of here today. We're looking forward to joining you guys next week. Thanks for attending.